Hello there and welcome back to Fooling, our Let's Play series on FS22. Right, as you can see, we are making our way to the shop currently. Uh, we do have a few things to do. We've got work to do in fields 13 and 7. Um, but we are heading back to the shop actually with our beautiful roller, which has unfortunately something has happened. The update has changed it so that it does not roll. Uh, anymore. Unfortunately, it's uh, become simply what seems as a mulcher, which is fine. Uh, these things happen. Maybe in a future update it will be fixed, but what I'd like to do, and call it cheeky, if you will, but whatever, it's fine. Um, I'm basically going to swap it out for a different one. Now, they're about the same price, but this one, since I put the extension on, has been more expensive. Not only that, um, but it uh, it is actually a bigger width than the new one that we're going to swap for. Basically I'll repair it, do all the sales, do all that fun stuff and then we'll just uh, swap out for the new one. Right, uh, and you'll see that once that's done. And while we're at the shop as well, um, I've actually been in touch with the shop owner and he's going to uh, give us a bit of an implement on loan. Uh, for free as a demo, which is very, very kind of uh, of him to do. Um, so we will get that sorted, and we'll see you back right here in a moment. All right. Well, here we have the new roller. It is the Razzle Toro. So it's smaller. I believe it's six point two six point two meters, which the other one we had maxed out eight point four. So that's fine. At least it was a straight across swap. Um, which is very nice. Essentially the other one has been brought in as defective uh, and we have this new one. So we'll come pick that up later but today what I want to focus on is this. So the TA-12050. Uh, very excited to, to give a, uh, a manure spreader a chance here, especially with the, the Bratner. It's local to the little German shop here. Uh, so as we can see it fits on the Fent quite nicely. Um, actually, maybe we'll put it on the Massey given that the uh, might be a bit big tractor this is. Uh, but right, we'll head back to the farm. We have to collect manure from the manure pit. Uh, we'll pile, and uh, then we're going to end up in field number 7, uh, or 13. Actually, we'll probably do both. They've loaned it to us for the day, so whatever we manage to get done uh, will be great. Right, so we'll see you back at the manure pile. Alright, so we are here now. We're just going to back in to here and it should allow us to fill up with manure so this will hold okay so almost three times as much as our little uh, manure spreader let's see we're going to do uh, field number we'll do seven first because I want to drill that with wheat which we do need to put in today Actually, let's have a very quick gander at our collection. Right, the chickens are doing fine. Uh, everything here is looking great. We do have grass to cut as well. However, we do need to get wheat in. So wheat for today, we can put it in tomorrow, but the sooner the better, uh, in my opinion. Oat, you know what? We're going to try again. We're going to follow the proper schedule. We'll wait till March. We'll put in oat, and we'll just have to wait and see what happens. Right, for now, we'll see you down at field 7. All right. I'll just pull in here. So the width, if I'm not mistaken, is 8 meters on the base model, which they haven't given us the extension uh, on loan, which is fine. 8 meters is literally double what we had. Now, I want to confirm that they actually need a... Right, so this one needs a once-over, and so does 13. And that's done. That's perfect. Um, we also have... Right, that was the canola. I forgot to roll the uh, canola fields that I put in. They're small, they're very small, granted, but still. Uh, right, and mulched, that was mulched, so I don't think we'll do much for mulching. Um, we don't have a mulcher now anyway, so it's fine. Right, let's, of course, we have to unfold it. Else, how else will the poop spread? <laughs> that's right. Okay, so let's begin. Oh, that's about right. Oh, that looks good, that. And yeah, you obviously want to spread manure or slurry or anything like that before you put your crop in. Because um, you don't want to go spreading poop all over your uh, freshly drilled crop. Right, this is going well. Uh, it's consuming very quickly. Uh, but the spread 
and obviously I'm not going in the most trying to go in a straight line but as best I can um, right we'll get to the end here we'll do a headland we'll see how we fare uh, once that's done how much if we have to go and fill up um, but we'd almost have to go and fill up already with the small one so we'll have to see we'll have to see exactly how much manure we can actually pump out um, into a field because if we can produce enough right doesn't show on there but if we can produce enough uh, manure to actually do our own fields without having to purchase any sort of fertilizer that's brilliant um, liquid or otherwise is very expensive um, actually I think I can check in here let's see manure is somewhere no could be a fairly big number there we are 35,000 so this holds 9,000 and we may, well we'll definitely have to go back for another coat, oh I'm missing that top bit there, we'll touch that up later um, right, so we are missing the the uh, the inside of the field yet, but we'll see, we'll see how it goes right, I'm gonna stick this onto a time lapse and we should have this field done in fairly no time at all I actually might, I do want to manure the other field as well, field 13 um, but what I might do is I might send a helper to do one of the jobs while I drill this field because I still have to roll it as well and um, last episode was quite a hectic quite a busy one it was very busy we had lots on this one I'd like to be a bit more relaxed as we lead into autumn because um, well we're just always going so hard it's nice to uh, take a small relaxing poop spreading day for yourself so that's what we're doing uh, at least we'll try to, we'll see what happens. Right, we'll crack on with this, stick it on a time lapse, I'll see you when all the poop is spread. So, as you can probably see from the fertilization here, this whole side seems to have been wasted, which is very unfortunate. Um, I'm not entirely certain why I'm only able to do half of it, um, unless it was in this episode that I already spread manure on that half of the field. If so, I might have to use sl slurry on it another time. Um, it's a bit unfortunate. I've wasted a couple thousand liters at least going down that side with nothing on. Um, we'll just have to keep going. I will obviously finish uh, this bit that is clearly accepting the fertilizer, but it would seem as though everything that already looks like it has poop on it is unable to be repooped, which is unfortunate because it's still. I mean, it's st you could put... Oh, it must have been the same day. Now I'm losing track of my days. I must have spread the initial poop with the other spreader in September. Right, so let's go on down this way. Hopefully being able to finish before we run out. Uh, I will stop very briefly to have a check. Right, so it will clean this up. I no idea what's going on in the other half of the field. But tell you what we'll do. Uh, we'll worry about that another time. We'll finish this. Um, clearly it's not going to add on anything else. Yeah, we're, we're wasting a bit, if anything. It must have been because that's where I used uh, the manure before. Which is fine, absolutely fine. Uh, we are going to take this back to the farm. We'll fill up again. We've only had to fill up the once so far. Uh, we'll refill once. Um, and then we'll head down to field 13 uh, with a fresh bit. Oh, we're not going to make it. That's fine. We'll get the rest uh, in our next travel down here very nearly. That's totally fine. Um, let's go down to the farm, collect more manure, 
head to field 13. We'll do uh, we'll do a headland for the helper, and then I would like to, to continue working in field seven uh, to drill our wheat. I believe wheat would be best for that field this time around, because um, we haven't really worked in field seven. We did harvest it. Now we've manured it. Uh, well, fertilized quite a bit actually. Um, now we'll drill it. And uh, thirteen, we've done quite a bit of work in, so should be fine. Right, we'll fill it up. We'll see you at thirteen. All right. Well, this field, uh, being what it was, it looks very clean, ready for poop. The other one, as it was already pooped, it was hard to see where we were going on one side. Uh, but this one should be clear as day. Oh, wow. Not as clear as I was, exp I was expecting a very dark color to appear, but um, nevertheless, we are fertilizing mostly in the right places. I'm always going to miss bits and bobs. It's just, it's just, it's just going to happen. Um, you know, especially with the wheel trying to get readjusted on the one side, it's just going to happen. You know, might waste a bit here, um, but we might get lucky on another part there. You never know, right? Um, I don't really use like GPS or anything like that, so I can't guarantee straight lines every time. Uh, human, after all, uh, but I'm getting better at not worrying about the misfits. <laughs> so as long as you're not worried, I'm not worried as well. Right. So uh, we'll quickly, very quickly, we'll get the. Um, helper started very soon because we will get the headland done and uh, we'll see how the helper fares with the headland completed uh, once it's done we'll stick the helper on we'll go actually right what we'll do before we get that going is we'll have to stick the massy onto the manure spreader because we need the fent for the drill which we will use in field 7 to drill in wheat so we'll do the headland, we'll park up the spreader, head to the farm, get the massy, swap it over, and we'll see you at field 7, um, ready to drill very soon. Alright, the helper is off. We will head very quickly to our fent, which is all ready to go, uh, with the wheat in to drill field 7. So we'll see you down there, we'll start drilling. Alright, so let's lower it down, fire it up. And we have wheat going in the ground. Right, of course the texture will be as is because it's not been cultivated, ploughed, what harrowed, anything. Uh, it is a direct drill, so we don't have to worry about any of that, uh, which is great. Uh, it would be an extra benefit for us if we had no, or if we were using precision farming. Um, and as amazing as that as that mod is, um, it just felt it felt inappropriate to integrate it into a series midway through. Actually, I can't even say this is midway, because uh, it's my first farming sim series, and I'm not even sure where we'll take it or where it's going to go. Cake. That's my goal. Cake. Uh, anyways, right, we <laughs> have one pass down, and that was quick. The helper's already empty. Right, so we will do... Let's line ourselves up here for another run. We will fill up the helper with manure, and before you know it, we'll be back in this field drilling in some more wheat. Well, just before we actually uh, carry on, uh, I have got noticed that the... Ooh, oh, okay, I thought the helper was in a tree. Uh, it says the helper has completed their task, which is, as we can see, a lie. <laughs> That's absolutely fine. Um, my only concern about putting more manure into this is that I won't be able to get it out. And as it is alone on demo, I don't know... Oh, maybe I can. Maybe I can do. Um... I'm not seeing an unload or anything, so I'd rather not. Tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to finish this with... Um, well, here, I'll go this line against the trees. Try and use up that 6%. Um, and then I'll probably... They will probably want this back anyways very soon. So what I'll do is I'll finish this bit because it's only 6% of the spreader left. And if we can get 
see as far as we can get at least. To the end of here would be fantastic. Let's see if we can go down a bit. Ah yes, wonderful. So what we'll do with this last bit, I know it seems a bit wasteful, but I'll stick the Landini on. Um because I just I don't want to waste any of our manure in, in the spreader if if need be. As you can see there is patches missing on the side, on the far side. Um, just small bits, but that's perfect for our four meter spreader. So what I'll do is I will get the Landini hooked up to our little uh, manure spreader, which is somewhere on the farm. And then we'll get that down here. We'll bring the Massey to the shop. We'll get our new roller. And then we'll get the Massey down to the field number seven that we're at uh, to begin some of the rolling process as we drill. I really do like combining the jobs as I can do. Um, it just frees up more time using a helper, which I don't always like to do. I've, I've used it a fair amount on the series, purely for progression. Um, you know, I mean, I could buy another tractor or something and have it just sitting there that I could do a job with, or I could pay a helper with the tractors I already have to do a job that I can do, or have done while I'm doing another job. Does that make sense? Anyways, <laughs> if you like this method, brilliant, love that. Um, it's how I enjoy it. So what we'll do is we'll find the Landini, we'll find the manure spreader, we'll get it all sorted, and then we'll get this, uh, uh, well, I was going to say sold, brought back to the farm. Uh, actually to the shop, yeah, we'll take it right there, we'll pick up the roller, we'll get that process underway. Alright, well here's our first look at the new Razel Toro. Uh, yeah, definitely a lot smaller than the uh, Guteling Mayo that we had. Um, and of course, as I've been trying to keep as many of the uh, the German brands as possible, keep it as as, as uh, map authentic as possible, but it's very, very likely that German farms don't always carry all German equipment. Anyways, what we'll do is we'll put it down. I do want to do one sort of test row um, as we have it here now. All right, takes a minute to roll down. Should see about it being used as a grass roller as well. I suppose I could have kept the other roller as a grass roller, but if this works I'd like to have one tool uh, for both jobs. Right. Look at how lovely that looks. That is amazing. It looks just so clean. Right. Needs rolling. Just needs nothing. That 2% of yield bonus I'm almost certain is a lack of mulching. Right. If we look here 95 96 percent so they're 95 ish so about two and a half percent for mulching and about two and a half percent well let's call it two two for mulching three for rolling the numbers don't really lie 95 percent so plus three equals 98 which is what you get when you roll beautiful right so now that we've seen how it works as all rollers seem to do except for the one we had it was mulching for some reason uh you know update the mod and all that now that that's going, we can very quickly go find our Landini. That's not it. Oh, it's not here at all. Um, Alright, I guess we'll tab on through. There we are. Oh, it's all the way down here. Right, so <laughs> we'll very quickly... Ah, oh, look at our cereal as well. Can't wait to sell that. Always forget when it's good. Always forget. Cereal. Bloody hell, that's pretty good right now. Oh, February, look at that. March, February, beautiful. It looks good, but it's just always quite high, I suppose. Anyways, we'll see you. Uh, we'll see you down in field 13 with a mini manure spreader full of, well, manure. Oh, I've gone the wrong way. I'm gonna get a ticket. I'm gonna get fined. No. <laughs> right, we'll see you at the farm. All right, so we're just arriving here now with our mini manure spreader. Well, it's our vineyard spreader. It's not even a mini manure spreader. It's just meant for vineyards. But if we put that... Oh, that's not quite lined up. Um, right, so we'll get this done with this. The reason also that I've got this on and a helper rolling while I drill uh, is because it's meant to rain at 5 p.m. And I'd like to get all my field work done uh, before then. Ah. Uh, <laughs> nearly. Nearly. Right, we'll get, we'll get the helper set off. Actually, it's probably for the best because it might have got to the point of rolling where I haven't drilled. So we'll see. But, ah, looks fantastic. Looks really, really good. So we'll get this last bit done. Lower it down. Takes a moment. This is probably the longest unfolding 
for for how big it is uh, implement that I've used could be wrong could be wrong though right so we'll get lined up once more especially when I like to uh, basically lift and and set down the implements when I turn but this should be just fine so we'll get him set off as well so we can take the beacons off I know that you're there switch over here fire it up carry on with the time lapse So just before we carry on, yes save please, uh, it seems our little helper has run out of manure to spread, although very nicely done, very nicely done. I reckon we'll be uh, pretty well uh, finished by the time or before the next refill is necessary. Right, so we'll rip down to the farm, we'll get the manure spreader filled, bring it back here and carry on with our drilling. Alright, yeah, the field here is looking very shiny indeed. Uh, it's going to be, it's actually fully fertilized now, I believe. Um, right, we'll just send him off. I do want to check very quickly. Uh, yes, look at that. Amazing. Amazing. We haven't even drilled it yet, and it's going to be perfectly ready to go. Right, so we've missed a bit of rolling here, which is fine, but we will hop to the fent. We had nearly finished the wheat drilling. This is a big field. Um, definitely definitely going to be very useful for us. Um, the wheat we'll use for chicken food as well as flour because and yeah the chicken pen is absolutely stocked full of food so I'm thinking this will be mostly used for uh, flour and we do also have our straw that we'll get uh, which will go to the cows of course. I think I'm missing a bit there. Oh maybe not. Sometimes it looks a bit hard to, uh, to tell but no, very good. Uh, the rain is about an hour away. We'll definitely get the drilling done, which is good. The rolling should be fine to complete, uh, or rather finish up in the rain, if need be. The very last thing I'd like to do before the end of the episode, which isn't really a necessary thing to do, but if we have time, it would be lovely, uh, to bring down a handful of honey pallets to the cereal factory. The oats. Um, obviously are stockful so we might not even bother with it yet as we don't have the other products we need uh, the raisins are only pr pr uh, processing sorry as fast as they can or being processed rather as fast as they can um, I don't think we have any more oats so we'll have to actually let me just finish this line have a very quick check so I would like to to see absolute for certain um, if we need to bring honey down. I would like to. Right, I was having a look. So yeah, the oats we have two, two, two. So two to two to one to one. So we got loads of corn, loads of cereal producing, um, oats. I think for the amount of... No, it should work out fine actually. It should be perfect for now. Right, I'm not going to mess around with that too much. Luckily these are being distributed directly to the cereal factory so that's nice. That keeps that production running. Um, but I think we'll run out of oat before honey at this stage. Well, perhaps just barely, but I'm not too concerned about uh, the honey today if we don't make it there. Right, we are nearly completed the drilling, uh, which at which time, at which time rather, <laughs> we'll switch back to the Landini. Um, make sure that uh, all the manure has been spread all over the, uh, I was going to say pitch, the field. <laughs> and... Um, and then we'll carry on with the rolling and that'll be um, that should do it for the episode so yeah we're almost there we're almost there a lovely September evening to finish up some field work Well, as you can see, I am just tidying up uh, the 
very minimal amount of missed bits here on the uh, on field 13, which we will be putting oats in, and I'm very confident about the oats working. Um, and I'm going to drill them like normal, everything like normal, and just see what happens. And hopefully it's a stress-free uh, event, <laughs> but I guess we'll see when the time comes. Right, we'll just get these small little bits. This is just where the uh, the spreader has to turn around and just struggled a bit to get there. But I believe if we look everywhere, we are fully fertilized. Beautiful. I'm not sure why it's very janky or jagged on the sides there, but it is done. Um, as we can see as well, the helper is getting on wonderfully with the rolling. So what we'll do is we'll bring the Landini, we'll bring the Fent all back to the farm, and uh, we'll finish up the rolling in field number seven. Right, well, as expected, uh, the rain is here, and I should have known better, but it is early as well. Um, surprise, surprise. I'm, very, I'm also very pleased that the stones in which they are still in the field, even though I have stones enabled, because this field was put in uh, beforehand, I believe that I can roll them in. Aha, I can. They have been all rolled in as they've been going, I'm more than certain, um, which is fantastic news, um, because yeah, don't I don't want them in. Aesthetically, they don't look very nice on a very nicely rolled or drilled field. Um, so I'm glad they're going away. Right, I might go back around and collect the rest after, but let's just very quickly um, get this done. Even though it's raining, we are on the very last leg. I believe one more pass should do it. So we'll just complete this. And um, as we do, I believe... I'm just trying to think of everything that needs to be tended to um, in the next uh, month. We definitely need to do a final, I would say final, it might be a final cut uh, of the grass fields, the meadows, because they are ready. I don't know if they're ready ready, like brown tip ready or just ready to harvest the first stage of harvesting, um, but we will check and we won't be doing any of that uh, in September, it will be October, so it will probably be primarily uh, silage grass that we're making anyways. Well, silage from the grass, of course, um, but we shall see. We shall see what happens. Uh, the other thing is we need to keep an eye on... Right, September we did sell milk in the last episode, I do remember that. Uh, so that's fine. Um, I believe, yeah, September can end with the end of the rolling. We will uh, finish this up, bring the Massey down to the farm, and that'll be that. As you can see, we're nearly approaching, so that's great. Um, and as I've said before, this will now conclude the episode. Um, so as we approach the end, I will say thank you so much for watching, as always. Um, I'd love to hear any comments, any likes, any subscriptions that you may want to put forth. Uh, definitely appreciate that. Um, it's absolutely amazing, the feedback that I've been getting. And, uh, yeah, as a content creator, especially for my first series, i um, very pleased with it. And I appreciate every single one of you for watching. So, once again, thanks again. And until next time, bye for now.